Hey guys, so the reasons why the more you like her, the more likely she'll reject you is something that a lot of guys make the mistake of doing. And the fact is, you will often miss out on a woman you really like because you're doing one or more of these three things. And you've probably found that the more you do like her, the faster she sends you packing. So if you've been in a situation where you really liked a woman and got rejected, then understanding why this happens will help prevent it from happening again in the future. In this video, we're going to discuss what you're doing that makes her reject you and why it's such an instant turn off and what you can do instead that will improve your chances. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I help men decode modern women so you can find, attract, and keep your keeper. My videos are for you if you are ready to settle down without settling or compromising yourself. Welcome to Just the Tip. Okay, so why do most men miss out? You meet a girl you really like. She gives you the warm and fuzzy feelings. Maybe you even imagine holding her in your arms, going places hand in hand, looking into her eyes and kissing her passionately. Maybe you even play romantic music while fantasizing about being with her. Cheesy, but far more common than you might expect. You think she's the one and you can see yourself in a long-term relationship with her. Maybe even marriage, if you're the marrying kind. Then you muster up the courage to ask her out and she rejects you. And all that time you spent imagining something wonderful was for nothing. Your heart sinks and you feel like you've missed out on the one. Does this sound familiar to you? Ever wondered why this happens? probably all the time, right? Well, I'm going to tell you the three main reasons why you're probably shooting yourself in the foot. And stick with me to the end because I'm going to tell you how to stop this from happening again. Why she rejects you. Number three, you act needy. Neediness is one of the biggest instant attraction killers. If you're needy with women, you will automatically lower your status to them. They'll think you don't have any other options and you're not desired by other women. I hear you asking, well, why does that even matter, Anna? Why are women so shallow? Okay, well, it's kind of biology. If she assumes no one wants you, her biology will tell her psychologically, fundamentally, innately, intuitively, that there must be something wrong with you. And that doesn't make her feel safe. What's a woman's primary need? Right, to feel safe emotionally, physically, financially, the works. Hey, don't shoot the messenger. I'm not the creator, I'm just the decoder. So what does neediness look like? Well, pretty basic. It's when you feel like you need her in your life. Maybe you think about her all the time because you have no life. Feel like she'll make you complete because you have no friends. Text her all the time because you have no social life and you need her to pay attention to you. Are way too eager to see her again because you're desperate or maybe you feel in a hurry to kiss her or advance the relationship and put a label on it like making her your girlfriend so you won't lose her and essentially it's when you put her value above your own if you put her on a pedestal she will look down on you number two you're outcome dependent you want things to work out so badly that you've already set yourself up for failure this makes you stifled and nervous when talking to her and this is a woman you may not even know very well or at all, really. She could be crazy. Remember, narcissists are very good at seeming like lovely people in the world. So what does outcome dependent look like? It's when you care way too much about what you think she thinks about what you're going to say. You're concerned about how she's going to react to what you say, so you filter everything, hoping she'll like it. Basically, it's when you're always seeking her approval or when you tell yourself that if she does reject you, you're going to be heartbroken. In short, you're way too attached to the end result. She can feel it and it's an instant turn off. Which brings us to number one. You get too emotionally invested too soon. In fact, becoming emotionally invested too soon or overly invested is the core of the problem. The more emotionally invested you become in a woman when you haven't even gotten to know her or even been intimate with her, the more needy you're going to act. And then you'll care way too much about what she thinks about you. You'll lack composure around her. You'll lose your spontaneity and be all in your mind about everything. You'll stop being your authentic, attractive self. This instantly kills attraction. No es bueno, because she'll start to think you have low standards. Intuitively, she knows how can you fall for someone you don't even actually know. And the more overly invested you are prematurely, the more 
desperate, needy, and outcome dependent you will be and act. What does this look like? Well, it basically looks like idolizing her. Again, you put her on a pedestal, she's going to look down on you. Maybe you start imagining how great you're going to be together. Start fantasizing about the future life you're going to have together. Let your emotions get the better of you. Maybe you're even starting to have a relationship in your head with her before you've even asked her out or gone on any dates. Or maybe only a few dates, but you're already miles down the road into your future together instead of being in the present with her right now. And you're addicted to the good feelings you have when you think about all this stuff. That's not even real. It's fantasy. You're sold on her already and you really don't even know her. So how can you stop this from happening? Well, now it's my turn to be cheesy. You have to be your own hero. If you think a woman is going to fix all your problems and make you happy and complete you, well, you're going to be overly invested, overly outcome dependent, and overly needy. And you're never going to attract and keep the woman of your dreams. I'm sorry, it's just not going to happen. So you need to fix the core issues that are causing you to overinvest and be outcome dependent and act needy. And as I've said in some other videos, the best way of doing this is to get your poop in a group, get your shit together. You got to focus on yourself and fixing your life wherever it's broken. You need to focus on self-development. The bonus is this will help you be happier in your life regardless of any other woman, any woman. It's going to improve your life. You will feel happier. You will feel more content. You will feel more confident. You will feel more competent. It's a ripple effect. Where do you start? Okay, well, I said in other videos, get in better shape, take up a hobby, have a passion, improve your skills, grow your career. If you're retired, work on your home. The more you focus on improving yourself and your life, the more attractive you'll be. And more importantly, the more attractive you'll feel and the happier you'll feel. You won't be outcome dependent and needy because you're already going to be living the life that you love and you're not dependent on anyone but yourself. And you won't over invest in a woman emotionally because you'll already like yourself. You might even love yourself. Not in that way, but overall. What have I said in other videos? Neediness equals dependency equals mother mode equals not arousal mode equals friend zone, my friend. And then you go from hoping she likes you to hoping you like her. In other words, you'll be filtering for her character flaws. You'll want to make sure she meets your standard. She'll want to meet your standard. And this is what I do to help you in my Wake Up to Love program. There's a wonderful process that helps you figure out what you should be doing first that's going to make the biggest difference in your life and in turn in your love life. So I'll put the link for that in the pinned comment under YouTube and in the video description under YouTube. Because remember, nothing changes if nothing changes. Nothing changes if you don't change. Said another way, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. God bless. Really cold out here today, you guys. It's trying to snow. A few days later, it snowed. <laughs>